So today we're at Indian Lake and I'm recording this with Quad HD 60 Super Study on because uh, last time I tried UHD 30 uh, that didn't work out too well. <laughs> but this sign says hiking trail. Do you see a hiking trail? <laughs> and then this is a fee area and uh, I guess you're supposed to scan a QR code but I have a state pass but uh, I don't know, I guess I just put the state patch on the windshield there if they come in and check on me. But I'm going to try to get this trail in. But let's get down here to the sign. Now, I'll tell you, if you came here, what a nice place. Look at that picnic table. That thing is, that's brand new. And then you got this little uh, chair right here to sit and look out at the lake. But let's, uh, let's read about Indian Lake State Forest. So you are standing in front of Indian Lake, a classic Florida K-A-R-S-T. What's a karst? Formation known as a sinkhole lake. Oh, I guess it's a sinkhole lake. Sinkholes form when the surface soils collapse into an underground cave or void in the limestone. Some sinkhole lakes are naturally lined. I'll let you read the rest. I don't want to spend the whole video, but let's, uh, let's get up close here. You can pause right there and read that. And then if you want to read the history, you can read that. Now, you know, this does give you the directions. I came down SR40 because I was in Ocala and then just made a left on 35 and then you just go straight uh, into the state forest. And then this is about the aquifer recharge. So, uh, and then what is this talking about? The Florida aquifer is an underground layer of permeable rock that holds water. Some of the line rock makes up the Florida aquifer. So, uh, let's see. Trail trail trotter i'm gonna go this way and see if i can find a trail <laughs> maybe it just goes around the lake i have no idea uh so the, evidently there's a trail here and i've seen it on a map and uh, i'm gonna just hike around here and uh, we'll see what we can see you can see this would be very nice to sit in that chair just look out at the lake i'm surprised there's campers in here i would assume there might be fish in there i can't believe nobody's fishing Hmm. All right, let's see if we can find the trail. Well, one thing I forgot to point out is uh, you do have the uh, bathroom here, restroom. That's very important. So uh, if you do come here. Uh, but let's, uh, I believe I saw a sign that the trail's over here. So we're going to get on the trail in just a second. So I just wanted to get this. So you got the little sign here that looks like a Maine's hiking trail. But I wanted to get these oak trees on here. Look at that thing. That is wild looking, isn't it? With the limb coming down here to the ground. Crazy. All right, oh wow, check it out. I'm coming up on a bridge. This is gonna be, this is probably gonna be a pretty cool hike. I think it's just gonna go right around the lake, but uh, that's all right. I, I was kind of down this way, so I wanted to swing in here. I've been meaning to come here for quite some time. But as I come up on the bridge, look at this tree. I, you know, I, that's the first time I, I mean, the tree just kind of like grew right on the ground there. Pretty wild looking. All right. So as, we'll get the uh, this little bridge up here. It looks pretty cool. And uh, wow. Once again, I'm the only person here on the trail on a freaking perfect day in Florida. I don't get it. We have all these treasures. Oh, check out the uh, the view right there. Holy moly. All right, so this is like a little, uh, this must be the the uh, water that feeds the lake. Wow, this is, this is awesome. Check it out. Wow. That is awesome, isn't it? Holy moly, look at these trees. All right, let's get the view on the other side. I know that sunlight's kind of hitting the camera. That is cool. All right, let's 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 get on the trail. I guess we're gonna be hiking around here for a while because the trail, like I said, it looks like it's going around the lake and you got this going up into the woods and you got this going to the left. And uh, by the way, if you can't see it on the video, there's actually a little picnic table right down here. So you could hike around to this side of the lake. There it is. Okay, you can get it. To hopefully you can see it on the video. But I'm going to make the left here and head on up into the forest. 
but wouldn't that be cool you could just come here and have a little picnic although i'm not sure i want to pay the fee just to have some food by the way the campground was really really nice nice really uh the, the type of campsites that i like uh you know when you go camping you don't want to be right on top of the person next to you and by the way there wasn't too many people in the campground for this time of the year and uh and you know the the, the what i'm saying is the campsites were few and far between you know which is which is good so you do have some privacy in the campground i hope i'm on the trail <laughs> well i guess we'll find out soon enough huh yeah yeah we're on the trail so uh let's see i guess we'll find out this is uh it's really cool not as well maintained as like the florida trail but uh pretty cool nonetheless i wonder if i'll see anybody at all today probably not by the way i'm thinking this is going to be the mode we're going to want to use for for hiking from now on because uh, it looks really good on the phone because i'm just looking at the back of the back of the phone here so this is uh i'm hoping this video is going to be outstanding we'll see what happens i'm kind of disappointed the trail just kind of went up into the woods a little bit and brought me down to that picnic table i was showing you so uh once again brand new picnic table look at that thing that is one nice picnic table holy moly you know because you see so many of them that are just broken apart and that'll last a good long time all right let's, well obviously here's a tree with the thing so maybe this is just going to go around the lake i was really hoping to get a good hike in we'll see what happens oh here we go it's going up this way it could be the trail's going to head up into the woods there's another picnic table on this side of the lake man that is picnic tables those are the that's the best i know i'm going crazy but that, <laughs> that's the best picnic table i've ever seen with the thick wood and it's extremely well built holy moly because i see so many picnic tables when i'm out hiking and they're usually just trash so maybe we are going to get up here into the woods we'll find out i'm not sure what this means but there's they've changed it to an orange little hiking person on the tree there so we'll see so obviously i'm on a trail and maybe that just means that this is going to go away from the lake and the blue means that you're gone to like probably the lake trail and uh, so i guess we found the hiking trail that's supposed to go about three miles uh, we'll find out might as well get this on the video hey california <laughs> maybe you should do some fire management you can see that they've done a controlled burn here uh so we I tell you what, they really, really hit it. Because even Chernobyl, I did that, you know, I've done videos about Chernobyl. Uh, and uh, they've done a controlled burn there. So you can see uh, they've, they've been back here maintaining it. And if California did this, they might uh, save themselves from some of those wildfires, don't you think? All right, I'm a good 15 minutes into the hike. And I'm just shocked at how much burning they did. How in the world do you control something like this? <laughs> when you when you're burning this much forest uh you know i guess you just i mean you're just hitting the undergrowth or hell maybe it got away from them and <laughs> you burn a lot more than what they were planted because usually it's just a little area but uh well we'll keep going check out this tree coming up that is cool looking isn't it you can see the little sign right there and this is a this is a, a road well it's a fire break yep <laughs> more fire management so we're obviously still on the trail so i finally got out of the burn area wanted to show you what the trail's looking like kind of basically the same i didn't tell you or maybe i already did tell you how to get here you know i you just come straight down 35. you know if anybody is familiar with the area you know, until you get to the state forest and there's an intersection it's kind of tricky but you got to go straight and stay on 35 north from reef because i was coming or the, you know if you're coming from the opposite direction and eventually you'll see the the sign it's pretty easy for me it was on the right because i was heading north and uh, you'll see the the entrance to the park and uh then you can go and find well you saw how we got to the trail just hike around the lake and then uh stay on the blue trail and then get to the i guess this would be the orange trail boy i tell you <laughs> you could never get lost on this trail i've never seen so many markers on trees in my life you know i mean that's uh somebody was uh <laughs> printed up a bunch of these little plastic things because <laughs> look at this one on this tree one on that tree holy moly 
But you know, they always shocks me, always shocks me. There's nobody on the trail but me. Always just blows my mind. I mean, how in the world we got all these, I mean, you would think somebody in the campground. I mean, I understand that most people in the area don't even know this place exists. But you'd think that somebody in the campground, because what else you got to do when you're camping? I mean, I, well, I'd be fishing, I'd be hiking. I mean, I don't know, I guess uh, it, maybe uh, they went somewhere, but not a single person. Blows my mind. So I've come up on something here. Now they have the sign saying hiking trail to the left. But what's this metal thing back here? I wanna hike back there and look at that. But uh, of course it's well, well marked Indian Lake. What's this say? Indian Lake and then you've got, well you got a trail going this way. And that sign back there said trail this way. What the hell is this? Why would you have this big, maybe they had something caged in there at some point. What is the purpose of that? Well, leave a comment below if you know. <laughs> it's got this little chain right here. That is bizarre. And of course it's got the, I don't know, that's uh, that thing across the top. I don't know. We're going to go right though, rather than follow the sign there. This is just bizarre. This is why I love hiking the first time and making the video because I always love being bewildered <laughs> and then I can come back and make a video when I know what the hell's going on but the, the sign of course said the trail goes to the left but you see the little orange marker on the tree saying that this is also a hiking trail so I don't know let's just keep going so this is bizarre so I'm coming up on a sign here's another fire break and uh let's take a look at this it says uh boundary <laughs> but then there's a little marker on the thing that says hiking trail let's see what this is just a piece of wood let's see what's over here okay all right so bear oak trail 1.3 so you are here so this is the entrance road there's a pavilion so uh Wow, no idea. I'm going to study this for a while, but I can, if you want to punch in the address, this is 911 or 8675 Northeast 58th Avenue. Hmm. Just wanted to get out here just a second. So if you wanted a, a different hike, of course, private property over here, but you could just hike this road. And then if you look at this sign, let's say in hiking, horses, and uh, bicycles available there. And then you've got this going this way. Once again, another sign, no horses beyond this point. So, I mean, you could just come and hike this road. Look at that. So, I could definitely be coming back here a couple multiple times, but I'm going to get back on the trail, uh, back into the woods here that's a hiking only trail. Let's get that out of the way first. Well, I'm back on the trail. I just want to show you what it's looking like. Still more of the control burn, uh, but you know I <laughs> always, you know I always come out here and I go, you know maybe I should have brought some bear spray, uh, and of course I don't even have my walking stick because it's just too doggone difficult to walk with the uh, camera here and the walking stick. If this is the end of the trail, I'm coming up on another sign here. Let's get that on the video, see what it says. I always try to get the weird stuff on the radio. Here we've got a graveyard fenced in in the middle of the forest. <laughs> I mean, I've seen some bizarre stuff hiking. Davis, it says Davis on that one. That is wild, isn't it? I wonder, I guess, if some family. Well, let's see if there's anything on this. This is always nice to have. Well, you could you could at least get underneath that if uh, if it rained. Let's see if there's what it says here. It says Indian Lake Cemetery. I'm going to get that. Here you go. You can pause right there and read that. So now we know the mystery behind the, the cemetery. And this is always nice. I always, I'm always, i so thankful that they put you are here on these signs. I'm going to sit here and read this for a minute. I tell you, I always get proven wrong. <laughs> you, know, you know how I was saying the trail is so well marked and uh, 
everything. So I've hiked down to here. You've got this fire break going along. This is just down from the cemetery. And I swear that it looks like the trail is supposed to go this way, but I don't see a trail. You see a trail? <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know. I'm going to go a ways down the fire brick and see if I pick up something down here. Uh, look at that. There's still smoke coming up. Maybe they just did this burn. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to at least go over there and see what's burning. So I wanted to show you this. You can see the footprints in the sand. So maybe I am on the trail, although I haven't seen a marker. But I'm working my way over to this fire that's burning over here. So, But look, you can see a lot of footprints. So this can't be the trail, but I don't know. Let's, let's get over to see what's burning. Well, this is pretty wild. It's just a tree that's down, and you see it smoldering. Why in the world would this thing still be on fire? That is wild. And then, of course, here's the cemetery right over here. But let's get back to the road. Of course, I'm getting black soot all over my socks. <laughs> Jeez. Just to come over and show you that. I don't know. Sometimes I'm dumber than a bag of stones, huh? Yeah, I've come a ways down here and uh, not a single marker. I'm assuming this can't be the trail. So I'm going to go back and see if I can pick up the trail back by the cemetery. So I'm going to tell you I'm baffled. Because <clears throat> here's the trail on the tree. And looking back, there's a marker right back here. So the only difference is the trail is kind of going to the right a little bit. But I just can't believe after this, there's no markers. That's, uh, that's, that's especially as well, there, it's, there they are. Okay, okay, I think I've picked the trail back up again. Alrighty, we're good to go. So pretty good well marked. It's different, they got the two little symbols there so that you know that the trail goes to the right. And then it just continues on this way. I just thought I'd get a quick clip. You know, it's uh, with everything burnt out, <laughs> you could, without everything marked, you could get off the trail, I suppose. So, no, a single animal. I haven't hardly seen a bird, a lizard, I guess maybe because of the control burn, a deer, a turtle, a snake, nothing. But uh, glad I haven't seen a bear. Let's just put it that way like to give you my time stamps. Uh, we're about an hour into the hike now and uh, it's kind of more of the same. Kind of just hiking more or less a road <laughs> through the forest. It's still quite beautiful, don't get me wrong. I, I'm enjoying the day. This is uh, it's a good place to come if you want to get a good hike in, but just wanted to give you a time stamp. Hey, my first transition and check it out, a bird. All right, looks like a hawk, but uh, that's pretty cool looking, isn't it? Looks like something out of a prehistoric uh, era. But I wanted to show you this transition. So we're coming in to this right here. So that's, this is cool. Well, you don't get this often in Florida. <laughs> we're actually going down a hill. So that would imagine we're heading down towards the lake. But uh, it's not a steep slope. But I mean, you don't see this in Florida. I mean, we're very, very, you know, everything's just flat. But uh, this is pretty cool. I wanted to get this on the video. can't see it much from here. I'm going to work my way over. I want to get you this, uh, well, it looks like a pond. I mean, I would say swamp, but uh, pretty cool. Let's get over there. You know, usually you would see like a worn-in trail because I can't believe I'm the only person who wants to see what this looks like. But you can see it uh, doesn't look like anybody's been in here except me Whoa. As, I, as I trip. So let's get the get this on the video. Check it out. Whoops, can't go that way. All right. Isn't that cool? Wouldn't it be cool if we saw a gator? <laughs> Not up close and personal, but uh, isn't that that is amazing? Let's get right over here. Check that out on the video. I can't wait to see this when I get home. That is awesome, isn't it? Boy, you could, if you hike a chair in and just sit right here and read a book, wouldn't that be amazing? That is beautiful. And I can't believe that they've cut this trail in. And, you know, why wouldn't you put a bench right here, you know? So that you, people could sit here and look at that. I don't know. People who work through these trails, sometimes I think they miss opportunities. All right, that's good enough. 
you know what would be fun is you, of course the trails moving to the left here you can see the sign but you know this looks like a like a deer trail I bet you could hike a maybe a mile or two in that direction try to get yourself lost so you could come back here and and I, I'm definitely coming back we're gonna come back on the motorcycle and uh, we'll hit that uh, that dirt road that I showed you uh, earlier in the video and uh, just just hike down that for an hour or two and then hike back I think that'd just be a, a different hike see what's uh, see what's on that road obviously it was a horse trail right and of course mountain bike trail or hell maybe bring the mountain bike check it out we're coming up on another bridge cool all right I, obviously they just replaced this bridge look at that that is brand new so this is pretty cool and I guess is this the lake or a different this must be a different body of water well you could seems like you could drop a fishing pole off of here look at that that is awesome isn't it that's not the same lake that is beautiful wow and then look at this this is what's with all the con maybe that was the old bridge it was a concrete bridge before probably and they put in just put in this wooden bridge but just look at that kind of going down in, into the woods that is beautiful let me just get a pan around here just a little bit all right well let's let's get back on the trail but that that is awesome and that brand new bridge that's uh that is cool i always wonder you know why don't they clean stuff up like this and barrel down there but uh yeah it'll it'll rot out and then you've got something back here laying on the ground of course i I don't blame them. I wouldn't want to go down there and <laughs> pull it out myself. But I guess if you had waders on, it wouldn't be that big a deal. But that's what it looks like from here. All right, so we got a sign coming up. Looks like the trail. Well, here's some extra wood. If you want a piece of wood, you grab one of those. All right, so um, let's see. I could, looks like you could hike to the left. I don't think that's the trail. Uh, but we might go that way just to see what we see but let's see what the sign says here it just says hiking trail that way so now is the trail going this way oh no it's going this way so okay yeah see look at that so you could hike down there if you wanted to uh you know just hike around back here look at this it's got like a sinkhole here check that out that's that's wild yeah, it would be cool to put a little sign here just to explain. I guess that would be another place where, boy, you wouldn't want to be standing on that when that sinkhole came in, would you? <laughs> Man, that would, that would rock your day, wouldn't it? Holy moly. I mean to make such a long video, but once again, look at this transition. We're just down from that body of water, and once again, we're hiking next to a swamp. That is cool, isn't it? This is a really, I mean, you know, it's a... It's a little too wide. I would rather to be more trailish, you know, maybe wind around a bit, and not just hike down a road. But uh, I, I understand they will probably got to get the ATVs back here to do these controlled burns. So they want to make it into a road more or less. But that's cool, isn't it? All right. Once again, a pretty cool look. Still hiking next to the swamp, but I'm coming up on yet another bridge. Uh, and I just like this, you know, you're hiking over top of this. But I just thought that look with the sun of the trees. See, so here's the bridge right over here. We'll get a look off of that bridge. All right, so I'm going to hike over, and we're going to get a view of this body of water to my right before we cross the bridge. Once again, that's a fairly new bridge. But let's go check out this body of water. Look at those trees again. That is crazy. Came down here. I'm actually back <laughs> where we started. <laughs> so... Uh, Anyway, here's the here's the lake and there's the uh, parking lot. Look, few cars there now. I don't know where them people are. Okay, and then there's a picnic table right over there. So let's get back because uh, I went in on a different path. So this should just take me around the lake and that'll be it for the day. So if you watch the beginning of the video, <laughs> I'll be showing you the same thing that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So I believe this is the road that I was walking down when we kind of got... Uh, uh, detoured there and uh, of course all I'm doing is the lake trail now uh, and this is where we we took off up into the woods uh, you can see uh, but we're just going to walk around the lake now and I'll get you some views of the lake sometimes it's good to do a, a second look I don't know if I got that I don't think I got that view 
well, when the first time we came out. Isn't that cool looking? All right, let's get let's get around on further on the lake here. So finally, we see another person on the other side of the lake over here. But I wanted to get you the view, looking back where we started at the sign over here, and there's the parking lot. And this is what the lake looks like. Man, that sign back there—I don't know if you read it, because you know I paused it. I didn't pause the video there, but it said the Indians used to swim in here. That's uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I, I imagine. Uh, well, I guess in the summertime, probably that water's warm enough to go swimming. So we got this guy picking up something there. So I'm just going to walk around the lake. I'll get you another clip over here, and then we're done for the day. I didn't tell you my park pass had expired. <laughs> I put on the window, so if he actually picks it up, they're gonna, I'm going to get a ticket. Uh, I got to get it renewed. I, I, I get it because I'm disabled and a veteran. But, but this is what I always look for. I tell you what, I could spend a day just sitting this bench right here, get me a good book, and just sit here and read a book with that view. Wouldn't that be awesome? And this is what I always look for. I don't understand on a lot of these hikes why they don't put a bench in where you could just sit and, you know, with a nice view, like back there at that uh, little uh, stalactite uh, water area. Uh, I'm sure it's very buggy in the summertime, and this probably has less bugs, but, you know, geez, five months out of the year, you could sit here and or sit back there and, Enjoy it. I just wanted to show you that view from that bench. Maybe someday I'll get back here once I renew my uh, state park pass, huh? I just wanted to show you the trail around the lake. Uh, it's obviously going this way. You could always hike down there. I, you know, it just hit me. I bet that guy works here. <laughs> I might have a ticket on my car when I get back. Oh, man. That would suck. I mean, I, I didn't know it had expired. And I was all the way, you know, most of the way here. Uh, when I looked at the back of it and you know, it was good from 2017 to 2022 But they I guess uh, they you know, you only get five years I guess it and I think they told me that when I got that pass way back and I just got to renew it I hope that the guy sees it and says well at least he had a pass doesn't give me a ticket, but anyway break the law I broke the law and law one I broke the law and the Low one. Might be a more substantial trail than I thought. Look, I thought I'd be going this way to kind of go, just go around the lake, but we're diving back into the forest here. Hmm. So I'm on the blue trail, obviously. I thought, but it's gotta, it's gotta just go around the lake. Maybe we're hiking around a swampy area. We'll see. I wanted to give you my look on this trail. See, this is, this is what I was talking about. This is an actual trail trail. See how it's nice and narrow, winding around through the forest. This is this is what I like best. Not hiking down a doggone road, which is what the other one was. Although we got some good scenery, so that was cool. Man, I can't turn back now, but I wasn't I wasn't planning to do, <laughs> to do another major hike. I'm tired, man. I can only hike about an hour, hour and a half. We we could be back here a while. I mean, we are deep in the forest here. And, uh, I mean, this is, this is a much better trail, but, uh, good God, I, if I'm going another three miles, whoa, I, I'm glad I got the phone with me. <laughs> I might be, I might be helicoptering out of this place. So the trail's going on this way, but you got this little side trail going over to this ditch. Let's check it out. Or a sinkhole. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's just going over to a sinkhole. Yeah, pretty wild though. Yeah, that's one thing here in Florida. We <laughs> we have our sinkholes, man. I hope my I hope to God my house never falls down in a sinkhole. That's because uh, I'm right next to a major, uh, uh, almost a waterway where the uh, uh, goes underground. That you know, man built. Uh, and I'm at the lowest point in my neighborhood. My dad always said, never buy a house at the lowest point. But I've already been through one hurricane. Or two hurricanes and uh, no problem there and plus I put in hurricane proof windows now so should be okay but just showing you that sinkhole so as we transition here look at that I wonder what I'm coming up to I do if that Sun coming in over top of that kind of kind of looks African doesn't it 
All right, let's, let's we'll see what we come up to here. So we've actually hiked around to 35. That's got to be 35 right here. Uh, so, so we're all the way back to where I came in to the park at, and the trail's moving to the right. So we're we're working our way around the lake. I just wanted to show you that. I was looking at this offshoot, going which way is the trail, and then I heard the cars rolling down. I said, well, I'm, let's go go up and show you where we're at. I thought I was coming back to the lake, but we're just hiking next to this uh, brushy area. I thought I'd get that on the video. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, just continuing down the blue trail here. And I can't, I, I mean, I know I can't feel my feet because of my broken neck, but <laughs> I really can't feel my legs no more. I mean, at least I had some feeling in my legs. This is a, this turned into a much bigger hike, but I wanted to get you that view right through the trees right here. Look at that. So pretty cool. I don't know if we're going to wind down there or not on the trail. We'll see. All right, I'm coming to the end of the hike. Thank God. Uh, you know, we didn't even get down to that uh, that brushy area. Wouldn't it be cool if they could cut in a trail and just go down there? But uh, I'll make the my summary. By the way, I forgot to tell you what date it was. This is February 7th. February 7th, so that you know what time of the year and the trail looks like this. 2024. So uh, that's it for today. Thank God. All right, that's it for the uh, hike today. I don't see a ticket on the car. And, you know, it occurred to me I could have put my, my VA card on the dash <laughs> so that he, at least he would have known I was a veteran. Uh, sometimes that helps out. You never know when what what person's patrolling. But uh, you saw the hike. I mean, what can I say? It was an amazing day. Uh, of course, the first trail, you know, way, way too wide uh, with the with the control burn, you know, the smell. But uh, that blue trail turned into a nice hike. Uh, so... Definitely recommend doing both when you come here. Peace out. Stay free.